Hey, my name is Josh Plotner, and this is how to write for a bassoon in four minutes. So a bassoon is a concert instrument in C, which means that you don't need to worry about transposition. However, unlike almost every other woodwind instrument, it reads primarily in bass clef. I say primarily because it also uses tenor clef. For those of you not familiar with tenor clef, it's this thing. Now that's not to be confused with alto clef or its rarer cousins like soprano clef, but essentially all you need to know is that middle C is always in the middle. In super rare cases, bassoon will read in treble clef, but for the most part, you're really gonna wanna stick to bass clef, maybe 85% of the time, and then switch to tenor clef when things get high. The range of bassoon is from low B flat to high D. Sort of. There is a physical extension that allows the bassoon to go down to low A, however you have to sacrifice the low B flat. A real one looks like this, and a cheap one looks like this. You might think it's a paper towel tube, and that's because it is. Low A extensions aren't the most commonly used thing, and again, you can't play a low B flat if you have the low A extension in your bassoon. The use of low A extensions is somewhat infrequent, so probably just stick to B flat. Professional players will be able to play all the way up to G, if not higher. However, it's best practice to really not go too far above high C. If you think of bassoon as the bass member of the woodwind family, don't. It's more of a tenor or a baritone voice. Bassoon can certainly play pretty low notes that make it into a bass voice, but those aren't the best notes on bassoon. Bassoon really sings in its upper registers, and they're often neglected by a lot of composers. Also, low notes on bassoon take a lot of air, and if you're writing just whole notes tied to whole notes as an uncreative sort of bass part, your bassoon player is going to struggle to play the full value of those low held out notes. Bassoon technique is hardest below low E, so if you write a lot of fast, complicated lines down there, they might not work. Like most woodwinds, bending the pitch down on bassoon is pretty easy, and bending the pitch up is harder. As with other double reed instruments, bassoons cannot growl or slap tongue. Instead of growling, use flutter tongue. Portamentos are only achievable on some notes on bassoon, best done between A and E in the low register, and A and D in the middle register. Extended techniques. Scooping. Flutter tongue. No sound or aspirated air attack. Tapping the keys. Playing just the reed. Playing just the reed in the vocal. Crowing. The kiss effect. And multiphonics. On the subject of multiphonics, the lowest note of bassoon actually isn't B flat or A. The real lowest note on bassoon is actually low F. Now, these are multiphonic fingerings. They don't sound exactly like normal fingerings, but with these fingerings, you can actually get a whole fourth lower than the true range of the bassoon. If you choose to write those notes, keep in mind not all bassoon players know the fingerings for them. They can be difficult to come out, and they don't sound exactly the same as the rest of the low notes on the bassoon. Always remember that whenever you're writing multiphonics, make sure to provide the fingerings for them, and if you don't want to look them up, don't write them. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Leave your questions and comments below, and I'll see you next time.